Well, we use this to guide our description of how functional a patient is. So for instance, a patient who is New York Heart Association class one does not have symptoms. They're doing well, they're not short of breath, they don't get short of breath when they lay down in bed, they're not swelling, they're not having symptoms. We, we wanna measure the degree of symptoms. So then class two patients do have symptoms, but they're not severe. They're problems with um, walking up steps or um, pushing a heavy vacuum or um, something that requires more exertion. And then you get short of breath and you have some symptoms. In New York Heart Association class three, moving along the spectrum, those patients get short of breath pretty easily. Just walking, walking around the house, walking uh, on a flat surface. They don't even have to go up steps or up a hill to get out of breath. Maybe taking a shower, um, making the bed seems to put people out of breath frequently. That's New York Heart Association class three. The patients in New York Heart Association class four are short of breath, just sitting still. They, they have a little trouble catching their breath, getting enough air, feeling like they're satisfied with their breath when they're in class four. So obviously New York Heart Association class one is the least symptoms or no symptoms. And then the spectrum is class four, those patients who are symptomatic and they don't even have to get up and do something to have symptoms.